Welcome to Touch Technology Review. In today's discovery video, we're going to be checking out Ava.ai, which is an online tool that generates music with the help of AI. You can sign in for a free account, which gives you the ability to create up to three tracks per month. If you go for one of the pay plans, you get unlimited tracks and all of the copyright is assigned to you as the creator of the tracks. Now, I've only got a free plan, so I've created a few sample tracks already, but we'll go ahead and generate one more today that we can listen to right now on the YouTube channel. And what's going to be interesting is to find out whether there's any copyright strikes on this piece that I create. And I'll let you know in the notes in the video below, and also I'll probably post something on my socials. So make sure you follow up to find out how I went in terms of uploading the track onto YouTube. Anyway, in terms of using the application from the homepage, you start with the generation profiles. And there are a number of different tracks that have already been generated that will be a great starter for the AI to understand what type of music you're actually looking for. So let's just play through a few of the tracks to get a sense of the different genres that are available. So there are just a sample of a few of the different profiles that you could use as the basis for your track. For this tutorial, I'm going to start with the techno track. So to do that, you just need to hover over the profile and then click on the create button option. And then you have a few parameters that you can set to determine the flavor of the track. The first one is the key signature. If you know anything about music, the key signature sets the tone of the piece. So if you have a minor key or a major key, that will really determine whether it's got a light, bubbly, happy feel or maybe a more melancholic, dramatic sound to it. So I love minor keys in general when I compose my music. So let's go with a C minor. And in terms of the duration, I'll just go for anywhere between 30 seconds and one minute. And then you could set the number of compositions. I'm happy with just one composition for this demonstration. And then you click on Create Tracks. It could take anywhere from 20 seconds to a minute to generate your track. You can click on the Play button to listen to the generated track. If you're happy with the track as it is, you can click on the download icon and grab the MP3 file or even an orchestrated or reduced MIDI file, which you can bring into your MIDI door of choice. So that could be Logic, Ableton, even GarageBand. You could take that MIDI file and then further modify it to your liking. Now you don't need an external door application to edit the tracks further. You can do it right here online in the Avia editing interface. So to do that, you can click on the three dotted icon and click on open in editor. And you'll see that your track is composed of multiple layers. We have chords at the top in yellow, a bass track, extra and percussion. So for example, if you don't like the sound of the chords, you can click on the drop down arrow and you can go and change the instrument below to a different instrument. So this was using ARP 06. Let's try ARP 09. And let's go and change the sound of the extra track, which was using bass 38. We'll choose bass 41. 
And when you're using the online editor, in order to preview your changes, you need to click on the Save Changes option first. It renders out the audio and then plays it back for you. If you want a more seamless, streamlined approach, you can download the Avia app, which is available on the website, and this is also free. And this allows you to perform your edits and listen to them in real time, which is much more intuitive and more like using a door such as Logic or Ableton. So let's take a listen to the track now. As you can see, with a simple change of the instrumentation, we get yet another flavor on the track. You can also change the BPM, so you can go slower or faster. And another great thing about the editor, if you click on the percussion track, not only do you get the MIDI representation of the percussion, but you get a step sequencer. So if you've ever used a step sequencer before, this is a really intuitive way of creating variations on a drum track. And another great thing I wanna point out before I leave you is that you can also use this to generate tracks based on influences. To do that, click on the influences tab, click on create, click on influence, and then you can upload an audio or MIDI file. The AI will generate a track based on that style. All up an awesome platform that I think will allow you to create some amazing music that you can use with your content. Have fun creating. Let me know what you think of Ava.ai. Comments in the comments box below. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye.